whether you are a crane operator, a supervisor or a safety professional, understanding the importance of crane inspection is vital. It allows you to identify potential hazards, detect equipment defects and address any issues before they escalate into dangerous situations. You are welcome on Safety First Life. In this video, we'll walk you through the key steps of a thorough crane inspection, from checking the structural integrity to examining the hydraulic systems. We'll cover it all, providing you with the knowledge and skills to conduct reliable inspections. Join us as we are going to dive into the world of crane inspection, sharing valuable tips, best practices, and industry standards. By the end of this video, you will have the confidence to perform thorough crane inspections, ensuring the safety and well-being of everyone on your worksite. As you know, crane is a powerful and versatile heavy lifting machine, commonly used in construction, manufacturing and other industries. It is designed to lift and move heavy loads vertically and horizontally with precision and control. Cranes come in various types and sizes, each tailored to specific lifting tasks and working conditions. Crane operations require skilled and trained personnel who understand the equipment's capabilities, limitations and safety protocols. A crane typically consists of several main components including the boom, mast, jib, hook and various mechanical and hydraulic systems. These components work together to provide stability, maneuverability and lifting capacity. The types of cranes commonly used in the industry include mobile cranes, tower cranes, overhead cranes and crawler cranes among others. Each type has its own unique features and applications. Mobile cranes, for example, are mounted on a wheeled or tracked vehicle, allowing them to be easily transported to different job sites. Tower cranes, on the other hand, are often used in the construction of high-rise buildings and offer exceptional height and lifting capacity. Safety is of paramount importance when working with cranes due to the potential risks associated with heavy loads, heights and complex operations. Crane operators and other personnel involved in crane operations must adhere to strict safety regulations and guidelines. This includes conducting regular inspections, following proper operating procedures and ensuring that the crane is in optimal working conditions. So let us start how to inspect a crane on site, how to make the inspection effective and successful and how to keep the crane away from incidents and accidents on site. There are 20 major key points as a safety practitioner, as a crane operator, as a lifting appointed person or as a qualified rigger. You need to memorize every point. Point number one, visual inspection. First of all, you need to conduct a visual examination of the crane looking for any visible signs of damage, wear a Korean, check for loose or missing bolts, cracks or distortion in structural components. Very important and basic point. For example, inspect the crane's boom for any signs of cracks, a bending which could compromise its integrity 
during lifting operations point number 2 load testing perform load testing to verify the crane's load capacity and ensure it meets the manufacturer's specifications this involves applying a non load to the crane and monitoring its response to ensure it can safely lift and handle the intended loads for example use calibrated weights to test the crane's lifting capacity and ensure it can handle the designated loads without exceeding its safe working limits swl point number 3 wire rope inspection inspect the wire ropes for any signs of wear corrosion or damage check for broken wires kinks or flared spots that can weaken the rope's strength and pose safety risks for example conduct a thorough examination of the wire ropes paying attention to areas where they pass over sheaves or come into contact with other components you are on the platform of safety first life today i'm going to conduct a mastering class with respect to crane inspections on site if you are watching for the first time kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and fellows point number 4 hydraulic system check verify the proper functioning of the crane's hydraulic system including checking for leaks assessing hose conditions and inspecting hydraulic cylinders and valves for example perform a pressure test to ensure the hydraulic system can generate and maintain the required pressure levels for smooth crane operation number 5 electrical system inspection you need to inspect the electrical components of the crane including switches relays wiring and control panels ensure proper insulation and grounding to prevent electrical hazards for example use a multimeter to check voltage levels continuity and insulation resistance in the crane's electrical circuits point number 6 brake system examination test the crane's brake system to ensure it engages and disengages properly providing reliable stopping power when needed for example perform a dynamic brake test by operating the crane and verifying that the brakes respond effectively when stopping a holding a load point number 7 safety device inspection inspect and test safety devices such as limit switches emergency stop buttons anti to block systems and overload protection devices ensure they are in proper working order for example activate the emergency stop button to verify its functionality and ensure it immediately stops all crane movements point number 8 operator controls assessment check the operation and responsiveness of all crane controls including joysticks switches and levers to ensure they function smoothly and accurately for example test the crane's hoist control to confirm that it operates at different speeds and can smoothly lift and lower loads point number 9 documentation review review the crane's inspection records maintenance logs and previous repair records to ensure compliance with inspection schedules and identify any recurring issues for example examine the crane's inspection logbook to verify that inspections have been conducted at the required intervals and that any identified defects or deficiencies have been addressed and mitigated 
point number 10 environmental factors dear friends and fellows consider the surrounding environment where the crane operates assess factors such as wind speed temperature and visibility to ensure safe crane operation under different weather conditions for example monitor wind conditions using an anemometer to ensure they are within the safe working limits specified by the crane's manufacturer you are on the platform of safety first life you are undergoing the master class for crane inspections on site point number 11 rigging gear inspection inspect the condition of slings hooks shackles and other rigging equipment used in conjunction with the crane look for any signs of wear deformation or damage for example check the slings for any cuts or fraying that could weaken their lifting capacity and replace them if necessary point number 12 ground conditions assess the stability and suitability of the ground where the crane will be positioned ensure it can support the crane's weight and provide a stable base for safe operation for example check for soft or uneven ground that may require additional measures such as the use of clipping or stabilizing mats to ensure the crane remains stable point number 13 inspection of outriggers or stabilizers examine the cranes outriggers or stabilizers to ensure they are in good working condition and properly deployed verify that they provide adequate support and stability to prevent the crane from tipping over during lifting operations point number 14 lubrication and maintenance check the cranes lubrication points and ensure proper lubrication of moving parts regularly maintain the crane as per manufacturer guidelines and instructions to optimize its performance and prevent premature wear or breakdowns point number 15 operator training and certification confirm that the crane operator holds the necessary certifications and has received proper training on crane operation safety procedures and emergency protocols ensure they have a thorough understanding of the cranes controls load charts and safe operating practices point number 16 inspect safety devices check the functionality of safety devices such as outrigger interlocks boom angle indicators and load movement indicators lmis ensure they are calibrated and operating correctly to provide accurate information for safe crane lifting operation point number 17 review maintenance and service records dear friends and fellows analyze the cranes maintenance and service records to verify that routine maintenance inspections and repairs have been carried out as scheduled ensure that any identified issues have been addressed promptly and adequately point number 18 structural stability assessment evaluate the stability of the cranes supporting structures such as the cranes base mast and counterweights look for signs of deformation cracks or other structural issues that may compromise the crane's stability and safe operation you are on the platform of safety first life this is a mastering class for crane inspections on site point number 19 inspection of safety labels and markings verify that all required safety labels warnings and markings are present and legible on the crane this includes load capacity charts operational limitations 
electrical hazard warnings and any specific safety instructions and point number 20 post inspection documentation after completing the crane inspection document the findings including any defects or deficiencies identified and record the corrective actions taken maintain these records as part of the crane's inspection history for future reference and compliance purposes dear friends and fellows these are the 20 points it includes everything from paperwork to physical integrity but i'm sorry to say many of the safety practitioners they just rely on paperwork competency certificate of the operator sling certificates crane third party certification crane inspection records what actually on site they are not going physically to check what exactly is happening on site so for your kind information you need to access on site you need to check the crane physically and documentation wise otherwise maybe crane is in perfect condition as per the documents but maybe in the worst state of maintenance and operational capabilities so be vigilant be responsible and be proactive in conclusion cranes are vital equipment in many industries enabling the safe and efficient lifting and movement of heavy loads understanding the different types of cranes and their components is crucial for safe and effective crane operations but by prioritizing safety and thorough inspection of cranes by training and regular maintenance using these 20 key points Potential risks and hazards can be identified, addressed, and mitigated. Ensuring safe crane operation and reducing the likelihood of accidents or incidents in the workplace. Regular and diligent crane inspections contribute to a safer work environment. It protects workers and maintain the integrity and reliability of the crane equipment. You can use the crane safely. You can prevent or avoid crane overturning, crane failure, loss of load, or total collapse. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Wish to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.